Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to check out a few of the working preps. One is Old Blue here. I try and start her uh, once a week at least. I just banged my head on the roof here. And so we got to prime her a little bit. A little bit being a lot. Let's see if she starts up. Oh yeah. I'm gonna watch this because these gauges don't work. The fuel gauge works, but none of the others work. So here's your tack. There's your oil pressure and your uh, your battery power, your water temp. keep my foot in it because the choke cable's not connected it's just just a useless button there I'm gonna show you my wheel here in a second my hand pump Let's see if she'll run on her own oh yeah baby She's warming up. Let's go check something else out. I know I talked a whole lot about this hand pump for a long time about getting it installed and wanting to do it and all that good stuff. Well, there she is. There's still a mess, obviously, to be cleaned up, which we're going to do. Now, this thing has set since uh, yesterday. It's probably going to need, I'm going to say, eight to 12 pumps before it produces water. So let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I hear it. 10, look at that. On 10. So one of the preps, uh, you know, because if if the old electric pump goes out or if no electricity is being delivered, then uh, hey, we're gonna have water right here with this guy. And so uh, it's noisy right now. There's a plane going overhead and a big truck driving nearby. So the uh, the pond is uh, unsurprisingly receding. That is what it does because it does not hold water it's really a water retention runoff thing and it it leaks still haven't figured out where or how not super high on my priority list there's target practice out there there's my burn pit go back there there's my chickens and of course let's see if i can unzoom this thing there we go and we've got our garden working the start of it anyway and it's uh it's not super exciting it's not super big old blue is running old blue just gonna let her run for a few minutes now the garden um Yes, eventually I'd like to have a garden that I can maintain and sustain uh, so that we could get all we wanted from it. And uh, since we're new to this, this year being only our second year to even fool with the garden, the whole idea, just so you know, is so we learn how to do it and so we retain and reuse uh, heirloom seeds, which a lot of what you're seeing here are from heirloom seeds that we saved from last year and planted some of it we bought um but we just want to know how to do it and we want to produce some soil we got some more of that good cow dirt right here we've got some things working i can't remember what everything is that's nothing but see garden bed got some buckets we've got herbs on the other side we got fruit trees uh 
and fruit bushes. We added plum tree to the equation. And uh, we got more scraps, by the way. We got some uh, four by four posts that are in good shape. Um, got some decking, deck wood, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. This is, what is that? Um, an inch by six or something to that effect. Flooring. Um, much more pallets. Look, we're just adding stuff. Here's food grade buckets. Some of the many we have. Just some of the things we're doing to keep things going. To keep working towards our goal. That's what we do here. We play a little music. We work towards our preps. We go to work. We live everyday lives. We are the real world preppers here. Many of you guys are the real world preppers too because this is the real world and we're trying to prep, trying to do what we can do, get things done. Thanks for watching, see ya.